We put it on the dyno yesterday down here at the Shides Diesel Extravaganza. Mike Wolf, I got a 2012 Dodge Ram 2500. Um, I did the DPS S475 over the VGT kit at a turbo. It's been a great kit, I love it. Um, on the bottom for a VGT, I had to upgrade that to the 6367. I decided to fully build the truck and I kept the VGT because I didn't want to get rid of it. I have lots of stories on how well this thing tows because of the added turbo kit. You know, it just, it's instant spool. It stays in boost all the time. It's been 54,000 pounds off the back, hitting the on-ramp still at 70 miles an hour without getting after it. Um, it's also only got a 60 horse tow tune. It's got a D&J stage one performance head. It's got 150% over injectors, a 12 mil stroker, extra G CP3, and it's board 20 over. Got fly cut pistons, Hamilton cam, waggler rods. She's a, the only stock component is the block at this point. We put it on the dyno yesterday down here at the Shides Diesel Extravaganza. On the first run in fourth gear, she put down 738 horse. And then on the second run in fifth gear, we put down 778 and 1,386 foot-pounds of torque on the shittiest tuning, and it just works beautifully when we were pulling up to the dyno and i told them what the turbos were they're like guessing where the power range would be and then they couldn't believe how easily it spooled and didn't struggle at all it starts spooling around 1500 rpm and just stays all the way up to 45 35 wherever i let off it stays in power the whole time